Twitter is known to be a trash, just awful hellscape of a platform, and yet somehow this past week has been the greatest week of just getting attention ever. Like, for whatever reason, this Twitter algorithm actually was like, you know what? That N-word right there, he doesn't get shit. Let's give him something. And I'm not the type of person to actually, you know, brag or anything like that. At least there's, unless there's like, a, you know, a good reason to. But we got like 1.1k on Twitter, which has been ages since I've seen that. To be real, the last time we had that, it's been like on one of my other previous accounts that no longer exists honestly which is a damn shame but now that we are back there it's it, it makes me feel a little bit happy honestly it makes me feel like oh shit we're actually doing something for once one because again the algorithm helped out with a few banger lolly tweets which to be honest can't show you here because holy hell but when it comes down to it though it's got a lot of attention like 50,000 on one people on like uh, views on one 45,000 on another and just plenty of other thousands on a few other like five different ones it's just like crazy that that ended up happening granted it was the right time right place because literally everything and anything that was lolly related at that time was just being talked about hard as hell so I was like you know what let's just get into these conversations and see what we can do and that just ended up happening which is great and effing glorious so to be perfectly honest it yeah it, it's really it was really a good ass benefit which also helped this channel a little bit to get a bit more people in here like 30 plus people had subbed to this channel now so that's really good so you know we, there's been a bit of helpfulness when it comes down to it though right and once again all thanks to lolly again and it really what this clearly shows and tells me which i've already known and what this should tell anybody else is that with all the lolly stuff that people say they hate and don't like there is clearly 50,000 people there is clearly a market for this shit that people still want to enjoy and like it's no wonder something like blue archive is still running and kicking and doing what it's doing because people like the shit out of these type of characters it doesn't make any sense how people be like oh no one likes it or it's some type of hatred going around it because there is a damn market for it again you wouldn't see these game companies and different games add these characters in if there wasn't anything for it and again with all the traction these five sweeps had gotten to be very real with you Mm, that's that sound like some bullshit that's what it be talking about when it comes down to hating it i feel like that's more bullshit than anything like i've seen more people genuinely like lolly stuff more than i've seen people hate it and it's been only like a vocal minority of people a loud ass somewhat large ass vocal minority but still vocal minority nonetheless Really, it feels like this whole week has been like an experiment just to see where are these lollicons at, where is like the main peakness of where everybody is, and do people really give a shit about it that hard and in depth? And yeah, it clears the it clears the damn checkbook for me and show me that yeah, that there's a lot of people that genuinely do care, and a thousand people that end up staying with me while we, you know talk about this and kind of just engage with it as well now if only a thousand of y'all on twitter can come through and just you know hit the subscribe button on here so we can actually just get this shit going to a 3k and on up that will make me happy if we can't get to 10k can we at least get to 3k we are like less than 300 away so we can get that like it something like that should happen please but when it comes down to it though yeah again it just goes to show again with all this stuff just how powerful lolly content is and again not everybody's gonna have to like it and you don't have to like it no one's saying that you should but just let people enjoy the shit that they want to enjoy and one of the things that obviously that's been going around recently especially with another vtuber has been taiga if you haven't seen the recent stuff that has gone on it's been pretty damn wild and crazy even on some of my older videos regarding taiga in some shape and form they have gotten new comments because of the current situation and it's just a really sad and unfortunate situation when it comes to him because he didn't deserve that like to be real it's just some weird shit that is happening with him and it doesn't make a lot of sense i'm just gonna keep it a stack 
And so many people just hate him because he's a Shotokan person or just like don't like him in general or anything like that. It's just weird, right? It is clearly weird. And it's showing with a lot of support to Taiga to show that, you know, they don't like the bullshit that's happened and hopefully things will get better for him. But again, it just is a strange thing. You don't have to go that damn far just to, you know, say you don't like certain types of content or a certain individual. You can just ignore, which is the most basic human function of all time, that people just randomly forget that we can just do and have, honestly. But that's just kind of how it is. And it sucks hard balls. So hopefully Tiger will get all his shit back if he can, which, you know, if not, then that's like the worst damn thing I can ever see anybody going through because it's awful. But yeah, outside of that, though, it, again, it just still shows you even with Shotokan on that side of the fence, you can still see that there's a lot of people that genuinely give a shit and give a shit about the people that, you know, like that type of material. And one more thing I want to add into this whole thing and mainly just kind of speaking for like the new people when it comes down to anybody that has subbed or has followed on Twitter as well. I'm just going to very much keep it a sec. I don't know every single account that has followed me. I don't necessarily understand your reasoning for following me. Well, granted, I kind of do because, you know, the content. But at the very same time, I'm not necessarily going to be too sure if people generally just want to see more lolly content in that sort of way or they actually just genuinely give a damn about you know me in some shape and form i don't know which one it is hopefully it's the latter but when it comes down to it though you know i'm not necessarily someone that's like the most extreme lollicon person as i said before i like other things i like big titties i like nice chill sexy women like it is what it is when it comes down to it right i like the shit that you know people think i don't like but i do i like the fat knockers i like to see some other people around my group of people of age that is clearly good for me like i like that type of thing obviously but i also like lolly because of the art and how it looks and certain characters also appeals to me in some shape and form so i'm not the biggest most egregious person but when i see bullshit come through and someone is getting finessed or getting hoed in some shape and form just because they like lolly or showed up content then i'm most likely going to say something about it so that's why a lot of people see me as a vocal lolly con when it comes down to it and yeah and granted i didn't really start this whole conversation for any particular reason outside of i was bored one day and just like you know what no other anime youtuber talks about the topic so you know what f it i'm gonna talk about it see what happens see how far we can get and we gotten pretty damn far because i would argue that half of my um kohai base is essentially lolicons and shotokans and such right i would argue that and there's like the other percentage that's just care for other stuff that's genuinely me which is good as well and you know it just it is it just is what it is when it comes down to it so hopefully with all these new people they will care not just for the lolly content but for me in general too and we can try to build that up in some shape or form so we can get this channel and this platform up in some shape and form so we can keep going and going and going and hopefully you know we can make some things happen because i would like to talk about a little bit more lolly content in the future it clearly does well on this channel if you haven't seen the previous ones but still nonetheless i would like to do more lolly content on this channel but i'm gonna need to see that support as well so if you can hit that subscribe button i don't see why you can't but if you want to hit that subscribe button and still see me do some crazy lolly content like the thickest lolly videos that we did because there could be something else i could do if i really think hard enough so you know just keep that in mind but i won't necessarily go ahead and do that type of thing or really try to go in that direction if the support and such isn't there when it comes down to this channel in general and mainly this channel in general because twitter as good as it is on twitter still nonetheless this channel is like where everything is 
the main life support of everything right for me personally right not just lolly content but just story stuff and literally everything else that you guys know about me so when it comes down to it if you want this channel to do well and continue to you know show support into lolly stuff then obviously hit the subscribe button that is the guaranteed way of showing support again we trying to get to 10k before this year ends i don't know if that's possible but i still want to try if we can hit 3k hey that's still something worth to celebrate on so when it comes down to it if you just want to enjoy this journey with me and see what other things that we can talk about even if it's not lolly content then again hit the sub button you do not realize how much hitting the subscribe button means to me and how important it actually is so please do that if especially you're somebody from twitter you don't watch me often or have never heard of me which at this point if i'm not necessarily accepted in the lollicon community i'm gonna beat somebody's ass how i gave you five banger tweets so when it comes out to it just yeah that's really how it is but that's essentially all I really wanted to say for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, show me out. Also follow me on socials and like to donate to the channel. Ko-Fi and Cash App is available as well. And until then, it's Boy J signing off. How blessed.